adjusting your own arrow shafts is one of the most rewarding aspects of primitive archery. Like bow wood, each geographical location has different species that can be harvested for arrow shafts. Many areas have multiple species that work. It simply takes an eye for finding them. There are many species that um, are preferred over others. And uh, certainly many people prefer certain species over others. Many people enjoy using bamboo or river cane. Um, others prefer ocean spray or uh, viburnum. And no matter where you live, certain, there's most likely a, a one or a number of uh, species of that will work for arrow shafts if you have an eye for them and can find them. Uh, here in Wisconsin, my new favorite arrow shaft material is the Amur Honeysuckle. Um, this is a shaft that I had, or a bush rather, that I had previously thought to be uh, gooseberry. And uh, don't ask me how I misidentified that, but somehow or another I did. And, uh, and yet now, uh, now that I realize it's, uh, the Amur honeysuckle, um, I, I really like using this material and, uh, like the multiflora rose shafts that I've been using for some time, uh, honeysuckle here is, uh, an invasive species and it grows all over in, in our area. Some of the characteristics of the shaft that I really like think, and I think make a really good arrow shaft is the natural taper that uh, uh, many of the shoots have. And uh, this gives the arrows more front of center weight, which is ideal for using lighter hunting points like uh, stone points or bone points, something like that. <clears throat> and... Uh, so they really lend themselves well to primitive arrows. The weight range also in uh, the size diameters that I like to use um, is really good for a hunting weight. Five to six hundred grains in my um, length of an arrow shaft, like a 30 inch arrow. Um, somewhere from 15 to 20 grains per inch seems to be uh, what I um, am coming up with, which... Which is is a really solid um, on the heavier side for a primitive arrow, but but I really uh, really works well for me. And they're very strong shafts too, um, able able to withstand hundreds of shots. And uh, um, once in a while, you know, like with any arrow shaft, any wood or natural material shaft, um, you have to straighten occasionally, but uh, really withstand a lot of abuse and I have not broke very many of them. You know, a good strong arrow shaft like honeysuckle um, that we're looking at today paired with the right fletch and uh, hunting point is really deadly when shot from a primitive bow. <clears throat> and you know, this really reminds me of the truth that God's word does not return to him void or empty but it accomplishes the purpose that he intends it for. And, uh, you know, this this is an important thing to get a hold of. Um, if you haven't read the Bible, if you have not opened God's word for yourself, I encourage you to do so. Um, you know, this book is unique um, across languages, across the boundary of time, um, 40 different, 40 plus different authors, human authors penned this, um, these 66 books that are uh, accepted as the canon, as the, as the Bible, the Holy Bible over written over a span of 2000 years. That's really an amazing thing. And it, and the more amazing that with 40 different author, authors over a span of 2,000 years, it presents a unified message without contradiction. 
And uh, there are certainly many that would seek to find error and contradiction where there really isn't any. E each um, place where people try to point to an error or contradiction is easily explained when you look at the uh, passage in context and in light of the rest of Scripture. And so, um, God's Word, yes, the Bible is just such an incredible book. And uh, we are told that it's because it is the very Word of God. The Bible says that it, all Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for proof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Um, we're also told that the human authors that the Holy Spirit used to write the Bible um, were literally born along by the Holy Spirit. Uh, in Second Peter, it tells us that um, this prophecy came not in old time by the, by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. That concept of moved is they were literally born along, carried along by the Holy Spirit. And certainly God used the individual um, author's personality, and that comes out in their writings, but it's completely um, his words. And uh, so we can trust it today. And uh, it, like a deadly arrow, when... God's word is directed to a human heart by the Holy Spirit. It does the work that God intends it to do. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 4 that the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the deciding, dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Um, the Bible is the book that reads you as you read it. And as we yield ourselves to God's Holy Spirit, His truth comes alive and we can apply it and obey it. And, and it's incredible. I challenge you, if you've not run, read the Bible, open it up for yourself. Begin to read it. Ask God to show you His truth. And uh, He will do it. Put it to the test. God's Word has never failed. Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. We can trust it, that it is um, his word. And I would challenge you, if you've never read the Bible, begin in the New Testament, in the Gospel of John, and read that. And seek to understand it. Seek to ask God to open your eyes and open your heart to the truth that are therein. And I guarantee you, you will not regret it. Um. You know, so many um, natural materials that uh, might even look like a good arrow shaft fail when they're put to the test. Um, I've tried certain certain shaft material that just didn't work, and uh, and yet there there are very good shafts out there. And and the test is when you put it to the test. That's when it shows whether or not it's really going to be a good arrow or not. And uh, in the same way, if we put God's word to the test, it cannot and it will not fail. And because it's God's word. And so I would encourage you with that and trust that you um, will seek the Lord while he may be found and call on him while he is near. And continue, uh, if you're into the primitive archery, continue working at it. And uh, this is a process. It uh, doesn't come overnight. Make some arrows. Look for some new new shaft material to try. Look for new bow wood to try. Try using stone points for um, once you get proficient in uh, your accuracy. Try using stone points and see see if you can harvest game with them. Our um, our ancestors did it for thousands of years, and and uh, it's a neat tradition to keep alive. But, uh, yeah, keep up the good work, and we'll look forward to putting out more content in the future.